South Padre Island in Texas has a reputation for being one of the go-to spots in the Lone Star State to party it up on spring break. But there's far more to do in this fantastic Texas locale than just bar hopping and beach parties. If a trip to Texas is in the cards for you, keep watching to see what we think are the best things to do on South Padre Island. Queen Isabella Memorial Park one of the first things you'll see when exiting the Queen Isabella Causeway on your way to South Padre is this park with its popular selfie spot, the Welcome to South Padre Island sign. The park is located on the median right past the bridge and is a great spot to stop on your way to get your bearings. The welcome sign that everyone and their brother likes to take a picture with is framed by beautiful palm trees, making it very photo worthy. There are several other attractions in the park, including a bronze statue of Padre Bali, aka Jose Nicolas Bali. He was a settler and Catholic priest for whom the island is named. There's also a memorial that pays respects to the individuals who lost their lives when the causeway collapsed in 2001. South Padre Island Farmer's Market For a taste of the local flavor or to merely stock up on snacks and picnic grub, make a pit stop at the South Padre Island Farmer's Market. Here you'll find stalls and vendors offering items like fresh local produce, artisan baked goods, cheeses, freshly caught seafood, and more. It's not the largest market, but there are so many fresh products here that support the local economy. It also often features live music and other entertainment depending on the day. The majority of vendors offer free samples of their products, which makes shopping a breeze. We're particularly fond of the market's citrus fruits like grapefruits and oranges. The market is open every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and held in the Shores neighborhood. Island Adventure Park Adrenaline junkies take heat. Island Adventure Park, located on the north end of the island, is a great place to spend the day ziplining, go-karting, horseback riding, or mini-golfing. And yes, you can actually go horseback riding on the beach. If you plan on spending a session enjoying a little equestrian fun, we recommend going for an early morning ride before the beach starts filling up. The Island Adventure Park also has plenty of fun and engaging things for kids to do as well, including a petting zoo and pony rides. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Laguna Madre Nature Trail if you're looking for the best way to experience South Padre's wilder side, there's no better way to do that than taking a stroll down the Laguna Madre Nature Trail. This boardwalk connects the South Padre Island Convention Center to the Laguna Madre wetlands. Along the route, you'll find many fantastic spots to go bird watching. More than 300 species can be spotted in the South Padre Island region throughout the year, and this is one of the best places on the island to observe them in their natural environment. The trail is open 24-7, and it's free. Adjacent to the nature trail, you'll find South Padre Island's Birding and Nature Center, which features a five-story viewing area and a theater that shows short documentary films. Not only will you see a wide variety of birds here, but butterflies and other wildlife can also be seen here. Admission is very affordable at $6 for adults and $3 for children. Sea Turtle Inc. Calling all sea turtle lovers, Sea Turtle Inc., established in 1977, strives to protect all species of marine turtles. If you're hoping to see these majestic animals up close, this is a stop you should definitely add to your itinerary. Presentations are presented by volunteers that educate guests about turtle conservation, and kid-friendly activities teach your children how they can identify various species. Your little ones will also love the scavenger hunts put on by the center as well. If you show up at the right time of year, you might even get a chance to see baby turtles as they are released back in the wild. Check their website in advance for an updated list of activities and events, especially if you're hoping to see a hatchling release. Isla Blanca Park Situated on the southern edge of the island, this park is home to some of the region's best beaches, as well as some of the premier fishing spots, boating facilities, and playground areas. It's also home to one of the most popular attractions on the island, the Christ of the Fisherman statue. Isla Blanca Park is a fantastic spot to go kiteboarding or snorkeling, and after spending the day having a blast, you can always grab a bite to eat at one of the area's many restaurants or check into a room at one of the lodging options. Museum of Port Isabel For a nice break from beach life, check out the Museum of Port Isabel. There are actually three popular historic attractions to explore, the Post Isabel Historical Museum, Treasures of the Gulf Museum, and Post Isabel Lighthouse. To visit all three, there's a package deal that will get you access to the trio at a discounted rate. 
The Post Isabel Lighthouse was built in 1852 to help guide ships through the Brazos Santiago Pass. It's since been opened up to the public where visitors can explore its groundkeeper's lodge. Due south of the lighthouse, occupying a former dry goods store, the Post Isabel Historical Museum is home to one of the most significant collections of Mexican-American war artifacts. They also have a small theater and a gift shop. Next door, you'll run into the Treasures of the Gulf Museum, which is a must-visit if you're traveling with children. The museum gives you a glimpse of what it was like to live aboard a ship in the 16th century. You'll also get a peek at some of the sunken treasure that's been salvaged from the Gulf seafloor. Beach Park at Isla Blanca Did someone say water slides? When you and your family need a little dose of excitement, there's no better way to spend an afternoon on South Padre Island than by visiting Beach Park at Isla Blanca. This full-featured water park has numerous water slides and rides, a surfing machine, a massive sandcastle play area, and even a hot tub bar to keep mom and dad occupied. The park's concession stands serve up a variety of tasty amusement park staples, while the Shrimp House restaurant is a great place to stop and enjoy a nice relaxing meal indoors. And if you're on a budget, the park doesn't mind if you pack a picnic. Dolphin Research and Sea Life Nature Center the Dolphin Research and Sea Life Nature Center is a great place to go to see some of South Padre's other aquatic residents. This kid-friendly facility features touch tanks where your little ones can meet starfish and hermit crabs. The center has daily presentations that teach about dolphins and other marine life indigenous to the area. All animals are treated with respect and dignity, so don't expect a SeaWorld-style experience. The Dolphin Research and Sea Life Nature Center is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Admission is $3 a person, and that money goes to helping feed and care for the resident animals. The largest permanent sandcastle at the South Padre Visitor Center Not only is the South Padre Island Visitor Center an excellent spot to learn all about the local attractions, dining options, and lodging facilities, but it's also home to one of the most popular attractions on the island. Outside of the center, you'll discover the world's largest permanent sandcastle prominently displayed. This incredible work of art has sculptures that depict things like castles, fish, lighthouses, and dragons. Information about the artists that contributed to the project can be found on a placard nearby. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites on South Padre Island? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.